Hey, what are you doing back there? No zoom on that webcam? No problem. I am about to show you an easy way using only OBS to zoom in on your camera so everyone will be able to keep their eyes on the prize. That's you. Let's make some magic. What's up streamers? I'm Gokex, the stream whiz, and I am here combining my years of experience helping people love and learn technology with my passion for streaming to help your stream have a little bit extra magic out there so it can shine. Today is all about Zoom. No, not that Zoom. Camera Zoom. A lot of us can't afford that fancy DSLR with a big old zoom lens, so we have to make do with a no zoom webcam. No problem, I have a super easy method using only OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whichever one you're using, to zoom in your webcam so you don't have to just be a tiny head in a box anymore. Oh, and to make it even better, once you have learned this technique, you will be able to use it to zoom in on any part of any scene in OBS, not just your camera. So let's fire up OBS and get this going. First, I'm gonna show you the easy way, and then I'm gonna show you another way because knowing two ways is always better than knowing one way. Plus, I'm going to show you an OBS pro tip for building scenes that's going to change everything you know about how you work in OBS. Trust me, you're going to love it. You'll thank me later. Okay, let's go ahead and open up OBS. Okay, here we are in a pretty basic scene in OBS. Let's say we want to add our webcam to this large center as if this were a just a chatting scene. Let's go ahead down here, go to a new source, choose a video capture device and create a new source for our webcam if it's all if you already have your webcam there you can go ahead and add an existing one um, but you probably want to add a new one since we're going to mess it up a little bit and i'm going to just choose it to be 1080 since it does not default to it so i've set the camera back a little extra far for demonstration's sake here but welcome to my sea of green now if we take a look and try to put this in the frame now for just chatting uh as it stands, this would be pretty lame. What we would really prefer though, is for this to be a little more zoomed in on and around, maybe just my face, cut out some of this junk, my computer off to the side here with, the, with these RGB RAM sticks popping off. So what we want to do is make use of the scale and the crop feature of OBS. And we can do that right here, just using our mouse and the alt key. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to crop the image into what we think looks most beautiful. Then we're going to make it nice and big. And then we're going to adjust the crop to be perfect. So right now, let's go ahead and select our source right here, our video capture device. Let's, you know, let's give it a name, Big Cam. The first thing we want to do is cut off all of this excessive stuff around the edges. And the way to do that is if you come up to one of these anchors and press the Alt key, then click and drag, it will actually start to crop away the edge of the image. As you drag, you'll see the border turns green instead of red, indicating that it has removed a portion of the image. Now, since we have a 16 by 9 frame here. We do have to try to maintain the aspect ratio when we do this. If you saw our previous video about camera masks, this technique will be helpful there if you have a weird shape and you need to crop and resize your camera to fit into a cool mask. Um, but for now, we still have to fit into something like a rectangle. So let's see, we got that off to the side. Again, it's alt and drag. So if we bring that back out, we can see. So let's bring that in to cut that off. And let's go ahead and bring the bottom up here. Oh, bye bye champion logo. And I think if we bring this side in a little bit, we're still pretty close. We're not quite 16 by nine, but let's see. Now, do you see what's gonna happen here? We're gonna bring everything in. And now if we take and put this up here in the corner and we grab this old boy and drag this anchor, this is basically the effect uh, of digital zoom in a camera. And look at, look at the effect that we have now. We uh, have zoomed. I would say that is much better and super easy, super clean. You can't beat that. So there you all go. I hope that helps. That is the quick and easy way to zoom your webcam in OBS. Once again, before, 
And after. Now, I told you that was going to be easy, right? Time now for the second method, which allows you to fine tune the cropping a little bit more and will also cover the scene building tip. Let me know down in the comments if you've already caught on and figured out what it is. Also, if you found this video helpful so far, please don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, which is going to be splitting up your audio sources for free so you can have your Discord and your music and your microphone all on separate controllable channels in OBS. It is awesome. Okay, let's see the other method and the tip for setting up your scenes. So with the camera source added, I'm going to show you now the second way that you can do the zoom. It's a little more precise than just dragging it around with the mouse for your scaling and cropping. What you want to do is right click on the camera and go down to filters and under effects filters or in Streamlabs OBS, just under filters, hit plus for a new filter and you want to do scaling and aspect ratio. And now since my webcam is 1920 by 1080, the only way I can really go for zoom with the scaling filter is by 2048 by 1152 or 2560 by 1440. Uh, so I'll go for 2560 by 1440, take it up to canvas size. Uh, and then what you want to do to crop it is add another filter, but then add the crop or pad filter. And here you can actually go ahead and crop it by telling it how much you want to take off of each side manually here. So if you want to say you want to take 200 off the left side, uh, let's go ahead and bring this up here. If you want to say maybe 200 off the top, looks good. Uh, right side, the 100. Bottom, probably a lot. 300 off the bottom. Yeah, bring that right up. And then, honestly, the left, 400. Yeah. So as you can see, this gives you a little more of a precise control than the uh, dragging the edges in for cropping. And it also doesn't highlight the edges in green like cropping does. So you won't be able to undo it with an accidental drag. So it sets it as a filter. And then um, it also gives you a little more control. You can do some fun things with filters. Uh, if you use the Orin board and things like that, you can toggle the crop filter off on and off. Um, if you know how to play with filters, you'll know why that is interesting. So. There is the second way. Now let me show you the pro tip for building your scene. All right, are you ready for that special tip on how to set up your scenes like an OBS Pro? Here you go. So the tip is don't just drop your video input source right into your scene like this. What you want to do is make a scene dedicated to just your camera and then embed or nest that camera scene uh, into your other scenes. Let me show you what I mean and I'll explain to you why that's uh, preferable. What you want to do now is make a whole new scene just for your camera. So go ahead and click on new scene and call it zoom cam so we can keep track of it. And on this scene, go ahead and add your video capture source. And now what we want to do here on this source, we should do all of the modifications that we need to do to our webcam because in the future, anytime we want to update our webcam, whether it's applying another filter to it or a new frame or anything like that, all we will need to do then is come right back to this scene and apply that just to that scene instead of having to go through and update 10 scenes or however many other scenes your webcam is in. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go ahead now, let's do the cropping that we like. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this in with something to this effect here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. I think if we are about this way, something like so. Not quite the right aspect ratio, but not too far off, I think. Let's see if we can go a little bit off. That's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and just, there we go. Yeah, pretty good. And do the green screen. And now what we can do, now that we have this scene built, if we go back to one of our other scenes, like this talking scene that we had been in previously, if we del say delete this uh, 
but cam where we had just our camera in here previously we can delete that source and create a new source and instead of uh, an, a capture device we could actually put a scene for a source and now if we go and do our zoom cam right the scene we just made check this out whoa hello that's the scene we just made now added as a source so there is the pro tip for how to make a scene a source scene stick it behind our overlay and the reason this is particularly nifty is now we can just pop on back is now we can go to say this other scene add it here also same deal say this one it actually goes up in the corner here and now if I want to change the background on my camera, I don't have to go into all of these scenes and change the background in each of my camera sources. All I would need to do is go down to the zoom cam, go right here, change the background scene, change right here, browse out to something to say, I want to be at the waterfall today. Great. Now I'm at the beautiful waterfall. And if I go to here on the desk, if I go to the desktop scene, there's the beautiful waterfall. And if I go to my talking scene, I'm still at the beautiful waterfall. So pro tip, there you go. I hope you guys love that and use that for not just your camera, build all your scenes that way, build your alerts and everything else. I really hope that helps you all get zoomed in and looking great. If you do need any more help with it, or if you just wanna hang out with some awesome like-minded streamers, hop into Discord and say hi. We'll be thrilled to have you there. Thanks again, everyone. It's been great to have you. I've been Gokex the stream with. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for the next video. We'll see you again soon. Thanks again. See you next time.